Trinity exposed. Number eight, the hand of Jesus versus the hand of God the Father. Here's another good one. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Look at the next verse. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Wait a second. So you have verse 28. Jesus says, no man can pluck them out of my hand. The very next verse, no man can pluck them out of my Father's hand. What's going on there? I mean, is Jesus the Son? Is he playing catch the Christian with God the Father up in heaven? I mean, they're throwing it back and forth, and the devil's coming along trying to, he's playing monkey in the middle or something, he's trying to snatch the Christians out of God's hand, going from one hand to the other? Uh, no. You see how the body works is, your body of flesh, right there, you're looking at mine, but inside my body of flesh is my soul. Right? So, I put something in my hand, I can say, no man can pluck this remote out of my body's hand, and no man can pluck this remote out of my soul's hand. You see how that works? Another proof text for God the Father and Jesus Christ being one. You say, well, this is heresy. Let's read the next verse. Verse 30. I and my Father are one. Just one, not three, three separate persons and one in essence, <laughs> okay, using philosophical terms to try and explain the Godhead. No, 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 just one. That's the truth of the matter.